to repent, yes. To repent, yes. To repent, yes. So I you mean talking yourself into it. To repent, yes. I was listening to the revelations without your comment, just what is in the Bible. And they say several times um, you have to repent. What is repentance? The, the rehashing of painting. Oh, penting, penting, right, penting. Okay. We're looking it up. We're looking it up. Pent. Another form for pent up or frustration. Oh. Confined, <laughs> repressed. So you're redoing that. Re, uh, repenting means to recompress yourself, reconfine yourself. Doesn't sound that's like a right. desirable activity. I understand, but that's what you got to be. You got to be it? When? Do, do it. And why would one have to do it? The, we already told you, not see, the reason to do it. In what application did we tell you to do it? Desirable well, to repent. The question, hold on. You got the question. He said, you, you said uh, that in order to achieve the levels of nirvana or some heavenly orgasm, you had to repent, and you ask us the definition of repent. We gave you the definition, and now you don't remember how it applies. You're sounding a bob. Yeah. So okay, the Bible's telling you to to re repress, re confine, to re shut up. It says to shut up, to shut up again. I right, and is that an advisable uh, project? It's effective. To repent, yes. What do we have to repeat? Or to replay? Archetype? Repartee. Repartee. Repartee is conversation, Ion? Repartee? Mm-hmm. Is it like... Repeat talking about it. Repeating words or repeating... What What do we have to repeat or to replay? Archetype? Repartee. Repartee. Repartee is conversation, Ion? Repartee? Mm-hmm. Is it like... Repeat talking about it. Then, uh, they also say you've fallen from the from the first love. What will be this first love? Ascension, 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 ascension. We were talking Ian, about that today, Roxy. First love means ascension. That's the first desire of fallen man is to get reconnected to source. That's the first love in everybody. First desire. Yes, yes, because they say, uh, like um, all the time also, love the Lord and obey the Lord with all your heart. But how how do you reconnect to this source and how do you love the Lord? By loving Come yourself? Come back to your Come back to love the Lord, which is you, back to yourself. Or we could say, come to yourself. We could say, come to your senses. Or we could say, have senses until you come. All those mean things as well, don't they? So coming to yourself has to do with a change in in perception or understanding? Mm. So, I mean, talking yourself into it. 
to repent, yes. Now, it's saying something like, money flows freely and easily to me. Is that repartee? Or do you have to no. say to someone else? No. So, dialogue. Okay. Like and, and this dialogue is with uh, you and, and others, or with one and non-physical, or...? God. Dodge with other with other ascended persons. Yeah. Did you say the word dodge? We said gods. Oh, gods! gods. Other gods. <laughs> other gods. Well, there you go. You engage other gods, there, Roxy. On to another question. This tradition of the Nagas that that were like teachers. Did did they really exist? No. The serpent. Teachers, no. Which no. culture was that, Roxy? In many cultures, like in India, in Asia, they did not exist. Mexico. So, what did they? What did the word refer to, Ion? Serpentina. Serpentina. The uh, snake archetype. Mm -hmm. Did it mean the actual snakes in their environment? Mm -hmm. Is that how you develop your power by talking with the snake, touching it, no. not being afraid to hold it? Uh, no. Good. That, that's good. <laughs> no. Not that. So, what is it that the snake serpentine refers to? Serpentina. Well, is it contemplating the form of the snake? The dance of thought among words, as the Thailanders say. I know, like, it's the snake swimming in water. Maybe. Maybe. That's pretty good. we got a maybe there. And uh, is is there something like uh, what the Tibetans and, and all these people doing, these mystical practices, uh, like this rainbow body or... Or these super psychics in China. How how oh, do you? Oh Lord, rainbow body. How... We already did that tonight, didn't we, Bob? Yeah. Oh, then I was somehow <laughs> listening to melting titanium because I was thinking about these things. Right, but the point is that these guru images have no power. Uh huh. Okay, and uh... but there are super psychics. And um, how did they activate these uh, powers? We did it. What can we do in order to activate these super psychic powers? Ask you? Or also talk <laughs> talk us yeah. into that? We say just embrace it. Talk it up, repartee. Super psychic how, power how? comes to me freely and easily. Is, is, that's not repartee, though, Ian. So you would talk to people who didn't have it? Can you find mm -hmm. people who have it, who claim to have it? Mm-hmm. Well, that so just sends you back you, to China again to meet these people. When you say we have to learn to talk right, is doing this repartee part of that talking right? Talking right to ourselves too. It will help. Bob somehow knew he was going to do that because I mean to, to get to understand all these entwined narratives in in Nostradamus, in the Wake, in the Bible. It's like all these books are only memos for Bob. Like don't forget to unseal the thunders. Um, mm -hmm. But uh, he he was studying those things before you appear. And he also did the chart with the angels. But you say he he somehow he could understand the the angels chart, but he doesn't. Why is that? Well, for Bob, it would be in Ezekiel three. So I opened my mouth and I, and he caused me to eat that roll. Was roll the uh, piece of bread? Yes. 
And he said unto me, Son of man, cause thy belly, cause thy belly to eat, and fill thy bowels with this roll that I give thee. Then did I eat it, and it was in my mouth as honey for sweetness. And he said unto me, Son of man, go, get thee unto the house of Israel, and speak with my words unto them. For thou art not sent to a people of a strange speech and of a hard language, but to the house of Israel. Not to many people of a strange speech and of a hard language, whose words thou canst not understand. Surely I had sent thee to them, they would have hearkened unto thee. But the house of Israel will not hearken unto thee, for they will not hearken unto me. For all the house of Israel are are impudent and hard-hearted. It goes on and on and on. It's very long. Um, It ends. But thou, it's oh, like uh, you have to eat the uh, bread of life in order to to get the angel chart. No, but it'll help it get you twenty six and twenty seven of uh, Ezekiel three. Right. So twenty five says, "But thou, O son of man, behold, thou shalt put bands upon thee, and shall bind thee with them, and thou shalt not go out among them." Then twenty six, I will make thy tongue cleave to the roof of thy mouth, that thou shalt be dumb. And shalt not be to them a reprover, for they are a rebellious house. But when I speak with thee, I will open thy mouth, and thou shalt say unto them, Thus saith the Lord God, He that heareth, let him hear. He that forbeareth, let him forbear, for they are a rebellious house. So I would say, uh, um, Roxanne is often commenting on how people don't appreciate Bob, me. That seems to address that. Is that on the right track there, Ryan? Of course. Yeah. So, so she's asking, how did I get to this position? I got to a position where they wouldn't listen to me, Roxy. Mm-hmm. I he made myself so, so incomprehensible. He said so many words, he didn't even believe himself. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I think, um, I'm not sure if, if this applies, but Irving William Thompson <laughs> says the uh, prophet had have a sort of uh, perception that uh, enables them to like to read the whole environment and to see things that may may be the future but it's just like a quantum possibility is that like that mm, forbearance yeah Prophets have forbearance. Hear that? Prophets have forbearance. They have yeah, stamina. because they have another um, perception. Maybe that makes them uh, difficult to understand. Well, maybe not. It maybe it makes it simple to understand. It's just a connecting point. You seem to make things hard when it's not necessary. And the things that are really hard, you make them easy. So it's interesting. <laughs> what you, did he say you make it hard? The things that are easy to understand and make him hard and things that are hard to understand and make me single. <laughs> um and then when Thompson is trying to make like a meta history of the evolution of consciousness what would you call that? Because you say there is no consciousness, but then what is evolving? Lucidity. Lucidity, clarity. Think of television, how clear that is compared to the book, you know, as a vehicle to look at something. And there's mm-hmm. there's media in Thompson's talk. Mm-hmm. 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 And there's junk in Croker's bum. <laughs> what what is in Croker's bum? Junk. Junk. Yeah. Yes. Uh, I also find interesting what he said about like children developing a sense of morality, like like a fair play and justice and and wrong and right. So I would like to know what is morality. Or is there really some type of of morality for the ascended? Oh yeah, you had to go to Yakko Wacko and Dot and a maniac for the wheel of morality. 
you don't need it for right now, but you can go there. It's great fun. Did we figure out, uh, Ian, why did I receive this situation? Why did I why get not? the role of unsealing the thunders? Why did he answer to the them. call? What did you say, Ian? He went, what? You wrote them. I wrote them. I created the disease and offered the cure. Pentatically. Pentatically. But uh, he really wrote it all for himself, right? Like to to remember now. Mm-hmm. So now we're to remind. Yes, and then uh, he also says uh, at this time there is is not enough to to look for an uh, answer to problems, but we have to make a new vision, a revision. But they all stop at the planetary level. And uh, with we you, don't. I see... Yeah, you go to the multiverse, the cybernetic, and the parallel worlds, and, and there is not only the, the one you, but many yous. So how would you call this um, not planetary consciousness, but what would that be then? This thing, this type of um, new culture evolution that goes beyond this, uh, the, the new civil civilization goes beyond the planetary and and the individual. You know, uh, Roxy, in my chart, I have um, Global Village, Solar Theater, Universal Theater, then Mythic Stage. Myth will be any collection of media you prefer, and then Lockdown Bob Rule. Those are the five stages of of civilization, moving towards the unruled. Right. So it's just saying until you get to the to the FEMA cramps. <laughs> FEMA. <laughs> yes, but but how do you call this this time of beyond planetary, which goes to, into the multidimensional? We call it. We call it planetary. living. We call it living with no with very little limitations, as much as possible. Like to name it is a limitation. So it's the nameless zone. Yes, but for some reason, it's like we are trying to to define and understand what's going on and what's happening and where we are. And you ask us and we tell you and then you don't believe it. So, okay. <laughs> no, I, I do believe it. <laughs> but I don't know why. No, no. You do, but we're we saying need to as a under- general, we're saying, you're saying we need to rally the troops and get them all, get out the vote, and we like Ike, and, and, and get rid of the yellow dog Democrat. We hear what you're saying, but after a little while, every time you do that, they just come back, so it's easy. Did you say we like Ike <laughs> from the 50s? Mm-hmm. Is there any type of collective consciousness or some type of of most awareness of that the, link us? Most of them are in the bad debt file. <laughs> the bad debt collective, you know, you just say collective consciousness. That's the it's, it's uh, debt. Yeah, debt collections. <laughs> I it does not like the word collective. Mm-hmm. Not so much. But. Um, but then is there anything that uh, when you recollect that's that okay. connects us all? Wait, wait, wait. He said when you recollect. Recollect's okay. Recollect. The recollective consciousness. <laughs> the recollective consciousness, not the collective. <laughs> the recollective. <laughs> that's a new one. There you go. Yes, but you, say, you said another word for consciousness. Lucidity. Yes. Recollected lucidity will be. Mhm. Mhm. This is like a, like we're trying to define this new vision, this new identity, which um, maybe we we are doing this to talk us into that. Is that correct? No, because if you weren't in the notion, you wouldn't go through it to get there. How can I serve the Lord? Be it. Like they say. He just said, be it. it. Be be it. Be the Lord. 
That's how you serve the Lord. Be the Lord. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's why they still sing about you. Um, Ask it. Hey, how Rocky. Do I, okay, go ahead. How do I sing the new song? Uh, Cold Mountain. Cold Mountain, the, mov- the movie? No, that was Break Back. Um, or is that the um, Fasola? Fasola, yeah. yeah. So how, how do we talk ourselves into this new identity and new civilization? One ounce at a time. One ounce at a time. One what? One ounce at a time. Mm, what do you Drinking mean? RNA drops. One ounce at a time. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you drink something that's made up of ounces. Uh, may I ask something? One one more thing. Yeah. They also mention a lot in the revelations. The white clothes and the purified gold and, and the omens for the eyes to see. What are, are all these metaphors? Referencing you in a perfect shape. Referencing you in the perfect shape? Mm-hmm. Coming into your place of power. We've enjoyed this interaction, lovely. Thank you very much, Ion. Yes, indeed. Thanks a lot. Yeah, Thank you. Time, always. Okay, very good. Thank you, very thank much. you Ion. Yay! Yay! <laughs> <laughs> ascension, ascension, ascension. <laughs>